In this video, I am going to talk about DLP Editor app for Core Component Solution. Now, DLP Editor is an app which allows you to set up data loss prevention policy. Now, what is a data loss prevention? Data loss prevention policies ensures that the data within your organization is managed in a uniform manner. Uh, and they block important business data from getting accidentally exposed by connectors or by your makers. Now, uh, it's a Canvas app, which is provided by the Center of Excellence Starter Kit. It allows you to copy a DLP policy, existing DLP policy, and create a new one out of it. <coughs> DLP policy creation process uh, involves selecting a business and non-business connectors and uh, uh, setting up the blocked connectors. Uh, you can also define scope while creating a DLP policy. Uh, in the scope, you can mention that whether that policy is applicable for all environment, multiple environment, or you can even exclude certain environments from uh, getting that policy uh, applied. Uh, there is a section whereby you can do a conduct and impact analysis. Like if you set up a DLP policy against an environment, then there might be many apps and flows within, your, within that environment, which may uh, uh, start feeling the impact because the uh, because of the uh, the connectors might be used in apps or flows and they might suddenly stop working if you have blocked that particular connectors so those particular thing can also be uh, uh, seen uh, as a part of uh, like a summarized document now uh, let me go into the demo So uh, how to navigate to the DLP Editor V2 uh, app is by navigating to the Center of Excellence Core Component, going into the apps, and then from here, find DLP Editor V2. Just click on this meet ball icon, and uh, you click on Play. The moment you do that, DLP Editor V2 will be uh, presented. Uh, now, uh, DLP Editor V2, uh, uh, the application uh, is basically, uh, let me show you from start how the app will look like. Like it's a Canvas app, and uh, once you load that app, it will list on all the DLP policies within your uh, organization. Now, I have created a set of uh, four or five different policies, uh, and that's why I'm able to see over here. But in case you don't see any policies, that means it is quite uh, assumed that this policy does not exist in your organization. Okay, now the first step is to create a policy. Now, I didn't find any interface over here to create a new policy. So what you need to do is like, you need to go into the Power Platform Admin Center. And once you navigate to the Power Platform Admin Center, under policies, you will have data policies. Now in data policies, you can go ahead and create a new policy. So it's a simple process by naming your policy first. Okay, I'll just put some random name. Uh, then you can show the pre-built connectors uh, and then you can set up the custom connectors and set up the scope and then review the policy. Okay, so I'm not going to go into that step process because I've already created that policy. Now, what you can do in the app. Now, the app will list on all the policies within your organization which you have set up. Okay, now, uh, as you see here, now if I go into say this policy, okay, now I can see the item details of this policy. I go inside this policy and then I can again see that same visit which I saw in the Power Platform Admin Center. Uh, I can change the policy name. I can uh, block or unblock the connector. I can move the connector between business, non-business and uh, block way. So take for example, if I want to uh, say put 365 training connectors, you know, as a part of, uh, <coughs> uh, as a part of uh, blocked uh, connectors, uh, then I can uh, do say click on move to blocked or move to business. Okay, I'll click on move to blocked and then this will be moved into the blocked environment. Uh, I click on next and then scope. I need to specify I want to add multiple environments or only specific environment. I'll say I want to add multiple environments for the moment. Under environment, it will allow me to uh, select a specific environment. Uh, so if I say uh, if I want to 
uh, add this environment to this uh, add this policy to this environment i can click on this icon and then i can click on add to policy uh, then uh, i can click on next uh, i will be presented with uh, uh, the impact analysis so it will tell me how many uh, apps and flows have been analyzed uh, and whether this policy impacts uh, uh, the uh, functioning of those apps and flows uh, if this policy has been uh, set up now i have an option to export impacted apps and flows in the csv format okay now when i clicked on it uh, click on it it will uh, send an email you know it might take a while because it is uh, uh, it will start generating those information. So it, you will receive a notification which says you will receive an email with the impacted apps and flows. Depending on the size of your tenant, this may take a while. Okay. And then once you're done with all the stuff, uh, just click on review, uh, click on this uh, update policy button. Okay. And you're uh, so now again, I'm in the DLP editor B2 screen. Now the other functionality which I can do is uh, I can click on this uh, copy icon. When I click on this copy icon, I have an option to uh, create a DLP policy based on this policy, based on the selected policy. So if I uh, say this policy is called as, say maybe block some uh, connect, okay, this is just my name for this uh, DLP policy and this is inherited from this no social media and google policy okay so when i click on copy policy then it will provision a new instance and it will uh, copy the same functionality what was uh, existing uh, in this no social media and google connector okay and then again i can go into view item details and start uh, uh, updating those policy based on my need okay so that's it folks uh, that's all about dlp editor uh, application within the power platform uh, center of excellence core components thank you